What's happening, you incredible folks? My name is I Paint Creatures, and it's so wonderful to see you all here. And I always like to start these videos out with full grace and enormous avalanches of gratitude to you all. My way of, you know, giving thanks back and making this a exchange. Thank you for watching these videos and taking them in and enjoying yourself getting entertained by my archives i'm drawing my uh, one one of my funky eye puppets the next muppets and his name is glitch and today i like to bring you a quote by joan miro and she says more important that a work of art itself what it will sow art can die painting can disappear what counts is the seed and this is something that's very close to me because uh if you viewed the last video that was posted this week, I, I did a quote by Brown, Brian Frow. Go back and watch it. I'll put a link up here so you can check that one out. But uh, it was talking about how Brian Frow does drawing to feel about the world, right? And I think this Joan Miro quote, she's even hitting it closer. Like, it's all about the process. And it also, if you want to make a career out of being creative in your art, the, the first journey you're on, even if you're not aware of it right now, is, you know, to go to that higher level and become a master of yourself and, you know, become a discovery of all the original stuff you have below your, your heritage, your color of your skin, your social identity, all the accolades that you've done in your life, you know. Below is that seed that you're planting every day. And, uh, you know, if I look back on my life, it's amazing that I have lived the life I have and really embraced all the arts and, you know, I had a lot of pain and tragedy in, in my younger years. And that was all just to, you know, sow, sow the soil and so I could plant these incredible seeds. And, uh, you know, for years I didn't know about it and then uh, slowly started to see it because I was so driven to help youth behind me, you know, who have you know, extreme talented gifts or they were, you know, put through some situations where they were, you know, kind of put under the firing line and uh, either had to evolve out of it and uh, hopefully uh, they discovered, you know, cats like me that are willing to, you know, show them the ropes and the arts and, and the more and more I do arts and I, I work with, uh, you know, I work with a lot of K through 12 uh, students and get them, you know, discovering themselves and more than here do this art do this craft learn this hobby learn how to paint learn how to do poetry learn how to perform learn how to do these martial arts moves you know more um i want to be a living example that you know inspires them and empowers them to find whatever inside them that makes them tick because we're all born you know super creative and imaginative and i don't think any of us are void of that but then you know we grow up and we just get you know taken over by you know other images and and different diversities of things which are basically distractions away from yourself so you know like Joan's saying right here art can die painting can disappear yeah and especially in performance you know you can get this real real uh inner high of performing for a lot of people and 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 a lot of these poems or or theater or whatever you practice on and you spent you know a lot of your life energy and time getting better at it and when you do the performance it kind of just comes and goes but what doesn't is what Joan's talking about here is you planted a seed you know and the, the seed grows because you get a lot of confidence in you know expressing your original self and your unique self so thank you for watching the video and I'll see you guys real soon